What I know about uh, Frank Lloyd Wright is that he is an architect who built every place that he built was for a particular place. Well, the notion of organic architecture, which is a phrase he kind of he 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 used a lot. I mean, he would build the the, the property to 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 fit the site, and he never built in a place like this before. He never he never created anything in this area. So nothing else he ever did looks like this. Something about the uh, the the way that nature has provided the inspiration for for uh, Frank Lloyd Wright. You you can see that. That nothing is straight up and down. There's no there's no right angles in, the, in in nature. Surrounded by water, the Spanish moss hanging from the oak trees and and all of that. You can see that the man who thought the way he he thought must have thought that this was a great opportunity because it's not just one structure. It's it's a it's a plot of land with so much promise in it. I mean, he set the house like in the middle of a grove of live oaks, which is this kind of special tree from particularly this part of the country. And the live oak grew at an 80 degree angle. So he kind of built the whole house, all these, prop these buildings to kind of work a slant, 80 degree angle. And, and the Spanish moss, he, he did these kind of copper downspouts that are the kind of geometric Ranclerite equivalent of the Spanish moss. And the roof is, is copper. And it has a kind of a detail like like the canopy of the tree. So the, the the buildings come out of this grove of live oaks, and it is very in keeping with them. Who came up with the name? The story is that there was an embassy Indians, and the progeny of the Indian enslaves they referred to as brass ankles. So the story is that there was a an old slave here at some point in in the sometime in the 18th century, 19th century, who who had been given his freedom and he was called Old Brass. And, and there was the landing here called the Old Brass Landing because that's where there was some part of the property where he lived, had a, had a, had a cabin or something. And of course, Wright can't leave anything alone. So he had a, having Welsh ancestry, Welsh changed it to Old Brass. As in Old so, Lang Syne. Yes. So, so that's where the name came from. That's what they say. That's the story. Do you get joy out of this? I mean, you, you can't spend most of the time here but you think about it, and do, do, is it with you all the time? Yeah, it, it makes me feel good, N knowing that we can come here and, and my family can, can, I mean, my wife Karen really has gone a great extreme to make it you know, livable and comfortable. And Well, it's not a museum. It's accessible. It, there's no velvet ropes in front of anything. I mean, we can sit here, read a book, you know, sit by the fire. You know, have dinner. It's 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 designed as a house to live in, and Ooh. and we we do. You're not an architect, but you 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 speak the architecture vocabulary. Well, I I yeah. I mean, I I, I kind of think I'm an architect on my movies. I like to think, you know. I mean, I don't direct them, I produce them, but I kind of am the architect of the movies, and I kind of feel where they want to be and how they should be, and 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 I I do think that I understand. I mean. Uh, what he was trying to do. I mean, you start with a piece of paper and a design and you kind of go through a very complicated process and we end up with something that's here forever, you know? It starts with a script. And so in a way he wrote the script. Yep. I, I noticed that, that in, in French films, there's a, there's a category that you never see, which is, it looks like realization. Creating something out of a, a, somebody else's dream. Is, is that what you do? I, I, I yeah, I, I, I think so. I mean. I try. I try in the movies to do that. You know, I, I try that. You know, but but there's always a you, you follow a format. You know, you follow a plan, and and I I'm with with all brass. I'm always following his plan. There are deadlines for most things. I mean, you can say, well, we finished with this movie by such and such a time. Here's when we have to be able to release it. But is there a, like a release date for this? I always say that I'll be able to build here or they bury me. So uh, so I mean I. There's more to do. There's, I mean, there's a 500 drawings in the, the the plan for this place, and I'm always adding and fixing and tweaking, and and I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's. You know, I guess one day it'll be finished, but yeah. I I always say it's its own sequel, Old Brass. It, it continues to keep going and going. 